Minor League Baseball. So that just means it's something I'm going to work on. Ooh, I like the stadium. That's my favorite uh, building over there. I like how he balls off that builder. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the That's things this guy does really the well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, oh, lefties I'm gonna are trying to put a ball up there on that balcony. Against this guy. So I, he's I don't doing know how many versions of this game has had that building there now. It's been Fellas, going on for years. Right. Right. When I first met my wife living in a total call in an apartment before we had kids. Back when I had free time. Or at least lots of free time. I remember hitting balls up into that building all the time. So I spent around for a long time. He's a fight at the bat rack. One ball and two strikes to count. Change up here and go for a normal swing. For contact. Uh, great pitch oh, let's check out on a shit pitch. On one, and on oh, the... and skill. Uh, and that maybe is giving him Settling the ability to now. take that Number first step for me and make sure I don't make that mistake anymore. So, uh, at least I think that's what just happened there. So, first pitch on its way. Hey. Let's see if there's any truth to that or not. Oh, one's the count. Wow, Good I can't starters. believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. That's not what I'm looking for. A lot of if I spin at the pitch that I'm not looking two. for, then that means hey, I'm moving that PCA indicator all over the place, right and that just throws me way off. The so. plate is not trying to push okay. something one, to the opposite field. Ready with the O2. Nope, side. Okay. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter. So side. I'm just going for normal swing just to get anything. Right here. Make contact on anything here and the just one, try and get on base. Misses for the second ball. Like You're trying to get me to some that's an absolute garbage here. Good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't He's want to come get back for a short time, sure. With the cleanup guy up nope, next. ball two. Very weakly on the ground. Or ball as well. Moving ball three. All my pitches are coming in. Hard to say, actually. They're kind of scattered. Now another two, two. Uh, you can oh. to hold off. the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Really good late fight on that oh, yeah. The best ones have that late action that just Look at that. At That's the embarrassing. They're so tough to get yeah, the bat on. Okay, let's go on here. Four one. Just that bad at doing anything for this game for thing. each of his first two plate appearances so far. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's go far enough? And yep. this ball is gone. Still no only 42 though, so no, I a huge difference in the game. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. <laughs> I'm hitting a lot more moon he's like he's but yeah, uh, whatever it is, it seems I'm definitely getting a lot more of these mutual home runs. Because I don't care, home runs are home runs. Three thus far. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So <sighs> of course, one good fastball hitter. It's my best pitch to hit. Because I can crush him if I get the time. If I can, if I, if I can get in the zone on the I can absolutely hammer those fastballs. Or, uh, see, I'm, I'm just seeing the ball coming in low, and I'm just jumping into my shoes to swing at it. I'm just swinging at garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Got him, and he goes down on really? strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder sure. right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ball. I don't remember that. Even on that replay, let's get this blow the knee. Eight to two tonight's final. The Sea Dogs win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Henry Diaz records the victory. You would think that coming from Dan Riancy was going to call up track there. The power. So that'll just about okay, so current overall 71. I think there's still I think there's another player. I think my two left field fielders are 73s. I think they haven't been called up yet, so. I think once I get to 73 or so, I was, obviously, so you'd think that 71 and 73, if I look at the stats, I would get promoted, and the 73 would get demoted, but this game does seem to put a lot of stock into that weight, that, that overall Time rating. For minor league baseball. So I have a feeling I'm not going to get called up in time of at least Kevin a 73, Page maybe even half to a 74. We'll get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. Oh. They've been in a nice little groove. Of winning yeah, lucky my time was just a little off. Yeah, guys, this team is certainly coming together. I should have pounded that one. Everyone, we Hanging curveball right where I was looking game. for it. There's a fight Sorry, in the, the ten minutes right, it would have been a colossal home run, I'm sure. But fashion yesterday, and they're looking to continue that offensive surge they in this one. The one-one home. Hey, Ice slider. Known as a starting pitcher that frequently works and deep in the game. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs so. some rest because he tends to eat up innings I, all by himself. Oh man, man, every team is looking for a guy like this. Why am I swinging at this absolute trash? Unbelievable. When you go to the majors, all the buildings are all the, you know, the seats raised up so much, all you can see is fans in every direction. In, but you don't really get to see any of the natural beauty. Or, I said maybe a couple of stadiums the like, uh, they want to keep the I forget the Dodgers stadium name, it's Cesar Chavez or something like that. Uh, uh, something. But the, the kids of that, Kansas City and then the LA Angels um, have uh, really nice parks. Even Pittsburgh has that, that nice view uh, now, in the fields out to the river. But so many stadiums, like when you look at the Skydome, there's just no view of hey, anything. It's just concrete and cans. Right and mo most ballparks are just uh, standing. But the you, you look at the distance there, you see it looks like the Rockies. Well, we're no in Portland, so I guess maybe it could be the Rockies in the background. I'm not sure where Portland's in Oregon, which is around that area. So it probably is the Rockies in the background, or at least the foothills. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. All right, so I still haven't got anything that I've been looking for here. Uh, they really I did it again. I swear, it feels like the down. third time in a row oh, he's been that I've worked myself into a deep into the account only to get struck out on an absolutely alone. retarded pitch. So clearly this pitching's at the plate, number 99, he's been a strikeout victim twice in this one. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. I'm these terrible pitches, so I'm going to try and just throw them and see if I can be stupid enough to swing at them. Not close. It's 2-0. Pointer playing here in his age 26 season. He throws a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, and a two-seam fastball. Two balls and a strike. Straight after the first two, they're going to try and come back with a strike. I'm going to go for a ball here, too. Wow. All right. So every time lately they throw me in a crap pitcher, so I'm gonna watch out for this pitch if it's coming too close inside or outside. Okay. And just when you need yes, it is shut down bitch. I think I'm stupid. Let's see what it is here. Right here. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna get me to do it again. And it's a base on boss to lead off the fifth inning. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase. I'm trying to get him a chase though. I'm to learning how to see too. And he's like just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Oh, oh, oh. That's oh, aggravating. By the curve that time Not that for a strike. I was just late. Liner toward right oh, center. That, and that's that's not hard enough to get past ball. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. <sighs> 1 for 3. Outside of home runs, nothing I'm going to keep my strength popped up a little bit there. Ready for another bad. shot now. Number we're 99. First. We're up. It was a single for him in his so last at bat. Home yeah, run would be nice, but not really relevant right to the outcome of the game here. That last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And a fastball is in there for strike one. <clears throat> Kelly, nice fastball, but that was too high. Could have swung and missed and possibly even popped it up. This should have been the worst case scenario fastball. on that first pitch. A one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's a ball and a strike. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The one-one home. Line drive uh, to center field. Oh no, okay. And then Hold find up. some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, hey guys, this he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. 
I'm assuming you can hear the commentators here. So every once in a while I have to pause uh, and just see what they have to say. Just the way you want to. Eight three tonight. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Yeah, I definitely didn't need a home run. Um, personally, would have helped. Uh, but after the, some of these guys check out games, we've had uh, anything to boost to keep the batting average up is uh, going to be pretty nice, actually. The losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. For the next game, I think between the series, I'll get a chance to uh, go into the clubhouse and work on some relationships. So. Uh, like I said, definitely going to try and work on some of the Maverick uh, side of the relationship building so I can get that show show opened up. Coverage of Eastern. So digging in now, number 99, a couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And he lays off a Too far outside. Could have been a hit to the opposite field, and possibly just a pop fly to the right field there. Fastball, a curve, a slider, and a changeup. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah. Couldn't really tell if that was going to be that low. Slider, messed about the time. 0 and 2, whoops. So. Breaking ball uh, swung on in the dirt. And the throw to yeah. first ends the inning. Got to Nothing my doing here in the opening half inning. On that point, uh, I'm just assuming that I have no, now with the plate, no stats to back that up. One in, oh, one lightning, that's what I want to work on. So, whatever this is, make contact with every swing. Okay, so I'm gonna go for contact swings here because I just want to work on that lightning skill. From the belt, the pitch. Okay, I'm just gonna that one so he will come back with his own now for me. And he just manages to get his hand in. Yeah, these American, these minor league ballparks. Lots of them look like uh, there, professional bar plugs from, from back in the day, but with less seats. Uh, what I'm kind of talking about by that is, you see right there on the right-hand side of the screen? That's the bullpen sitting out there. And uh, they, they haven't done that in the majors for a long time. I think the only stadium that still has that set up is uh, the Oakland Athletics. I think everybody else... I'm trying to think if there's one team. I remember seeing. Again, a one -two. Oh, I know why Lifted I saw it. The, the reason I remember the seeing it last right. season was right uh, the, the Blue Jays were playing on Buffalo. He's got uh, which doesn't have a, 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 a bullpen area in the outfield like almost every team does now. So I think so. I think it's. I think it's really just Oakland is the only stadium left that has that. Here comes the first pitch. Swing. But if you remember baseball back in the '80s. I don't know if it was half the teams, but a lot of teams had the bullpen on the side of the uh, uh, table swing. So I, when I'm talking when I swing, I tend to, to kind of um, to check myself, so you'll notice that if I kind of fudge. But I'm swinging up all the notice being followed as I'm talking, and I need to start doing that again. So that I'm, I'm just focused on what I'm doing. And now I think they've just kept that position around as kind of a, a part of the tradition of the game. And now they just kind of catch foul balls and toss them into the crowd. But, uh, yeah, so these these these, 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 old, these, these ones here, and they got the, the same kind of stands they used to have back in the day. Go back and watch 54, the Jackie Robinson movie. to kind of uh, get a sense for what that looks like. Or right, just on YouTube, watch some old um, clips of uh, baseball games from... Uh, before the 80s, maybe even before the 70s, but definitely yeah, there's still a lot of games in the 80s you can catch like that too. But if you go back and watch games from like the 60s, I think you'll see pretty much stuff I'm talking about in terms of the stands and all that. Um, Boston. I think Boston and center field has those, the bullpen warm up area. It might have been one of the first old students to have it, to tell you the truth, if they do. God, you know, now that I'm thinking about Boston, I can't, I can't remember with Boston now. I think, I, I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Boston has, has a, a, a wall-up zone in the outfield, so they don't think they have it. So it might, might be one of the first, because that stadium is like the oldest stadium in baseball now, but I think it has that, that open and work area. So outside of the uh, Oakland Coliseum, I think that might be like one of the... Yeah, so... I don't know what I'm saying. 
And then what I'm trying to say is, I think Boston might be one of the first stadiums that built the outfield, uh, the bullpen in the outfield, just because of the fact that it's one of the, the oldest stadium and it does have it. It is curious that the Oakland Coliseum has a prop that doesn't have it. Anyway, I might be just talking for the sake of talking here. Oh, Never attempted to count. swing at that ball down low. It's ball Something three. hit one up in my building over there. Yeah, it's spot that I want to be looking for. Ooh, yeah, you guys, I can see the bonus I got to my hitting here. There we go. And it's going to be a damn top fly. A line drive to the right fielder. You can see there, um, when I get into those counts, it says it's going to give me a boost to the hitting. I just saw my my hitting sweet spot. I guess you call it just ballooned up there. Let's see what would happen. And took that first step, so I guess the reaction is if I've been able to build it up enough now that he's actually get, uh, starting in the right direction for me. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for one. Oh, okay. The bouncer to the left side. Field it cleanly. If I was fast, that would have been an infield hit. I hate this fighter. I should have, I should have killed that one. Because it was up in the zone a bit, but... I hate this fighter. It's just it's the combination of the movement. It's when the slider. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, what a Damn stop it. on the slide. When that slider it. first comes when it first releases, there's something about that initial movement that makes it look like a fastball. Wow, what a great but it's coming in a lot slower than a fastball like it and it the middle, I thought that was gonna get through. So it's obviously coming a lot slower. Um, so that puts off the timing and then it moves. Okay. No runs Does that mean that we win? No. Nope. We get one more at bat. Digging in now, number 99. Go ahead, run it first. Oh, no, it was a tie game. Nobody I didn't know it was a tie game. Okay, so it's up in the 14th here. Guy on first. Okay. Home run would be sweet here. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead. I'm going to hit a home run in a while, actually, so it would be nice. Hey, probably didn't know it better here. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, he missed. It's 0 and 1. I think I was low well, for anyway. his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And it's okay. fouled away. So they're throwing two strikes the right in the middle of the zone here. Now they're probably throwing something wildly different. Struck him out. Struck Five him shot. out again, I should say. His I, third I guess, punch out of the game. I guess it's I put just threw off my my view, but I just swore that was coming in low. Even now, look at that catch. So that looks like it's about an inch or two underneath my knee. Alright, I feel like I got jobbed on that one. I need to be umpire. I know the way they set this game up, so. Unless you change I think you can change it so it makes the literal ball and strike calls perfectly. Um, I do find that a bit boring. Not I kind of like it when the strict zone shifts around a bit from umpire to umpire because it keeps the game interesting, but it is frustrating on a play like that where you're like, oh for seven, oh for seven, oh my god. Yeah, they sat me. <laughs> they set me in the last game after I went 0 for 7. Oh, God damn, my batting average is getting clobbered. All right, um, I'll see you in the next uh, series. Hopefully, I'll get that Showtime perk activated. <laughs> All right.